welcome to our lesson for today. Mm -hmm. So, remember last time Elijah had told King Ahab they met and he told King Ahab, gather everyone, everyone to Mount yes. Carmel. Mm -hmm. Gather all the people of Israel, all of the prophets of the hundreds of prophets of Baal mm -hmm. and myself, we will all be there and at there we will find Carmel. out who the, the one, one true God, God is, is at yes. Mount Carmel because Elijah said, I am going to stand for God because yes. I am the only prophet mm -hmm. left alive. So I'm going to stand for God. Yes. So now let's see what happened at Mount Carmel. Yes, so King Ahab did as Elijah had ordered him. So he gathered everyone at Mount Carmel together with all the prophets of Baal oh, and all the everyone. people of Israel. Were everyone there. was at the mountain. Yes. So when they were there, Elijah turned to the people and he was really angry angry at them and he said until when are you going to be double-minded you have to make up your mind you have to decide today if Baal is the true God then worship him with all your heart but if God is the one true God you have to worship him trust him and obey him with, with all, all your heart, heart. Yes. and then he said today we are going to see who the one true God is. Yes. And he turned to the prophets of Baal and mm -hmm. he said, build an altar yes. for Baal mm -hmm. and then take wood and put it on top and then take a sacrifice, sacrifice yeah. to Baal and put it on top. But, but don't light it on fire. Do not, not light, light it on, on fire. fire. You call on Baal and, and pray to, the, to Baal and to tell him fire. to bring fire onto yes. the altar. Yes. Now Baal was the god of rain mm -hmm. and storms, yeah. meaning he should have been able to bring lightning to strike the altar and yes. to light the whole sacrifice yeah. on fire. Mm -hmm. So the prophets of Baal, they prepared the sack, they got the altar ready, they, they put everything. the wood, they prepared the sacrifice carefully, yeah. and then they began, they began to, to pray. call on their god. And they, prayed, Baal, yes. and they prayed, they and prayed. they prayed, and they <laughs> prayed, and they prayed, and they prayed, and they prayed, and nothing, nothing happened. happened. And yeah. then they began shouting, they shouted. and screaming, and, and crying, screaming, and crying, yeah. and calling on God, mm -hmm. and nothing, nothing happened. happened. And then they began dancing like Why crazy he? people around yes. the altar, mm -hmm. calling on their God Baal, and calling, and calling, and calling, and Thing happened, no fire and came. then they began tearing out their hair, they and they, they hair. were pulling out their hair, they and they were cutting themselves, themselves and nothing happened. Yeah. Then Elijah looked at them and he said, um, maybe, maybe, maybe he's busy. I think you need to call harder. Maybe you should shout a little bit more. Yeah, maybe he's maybe slept. your God is really busy, or maybe he's asleep, yeah. or maybe he has traveled, or maybe, he has, or or maybe, maybe. maybe he's gone to the toilet. The keep toilet. calling keep calling, louder. Keep calling. And the prophets called, and, and they, they called, called, and they cut themselves, and they tore their yeah. hair, and nothing happened. And, and they finally, were very exhausted. They, they were tired and they collapsed. They fell down because they were so tired and hopeless. Because their God was not answering, no fire came. Nothing yeah. happened. The altar stayed as it was. Yes. And finally, Elijah said that now it was his turn. Time. So there was an altar to God on Mount Carmel already, but yeah. it was destroyed. Yeah. So what Elijah did is he, he fixed it, it. He, he repaired the, the whole altar. altar, then he got wood and put it on the altar, mm -hmm. then he got the sacrifice, and prepared put it, it on the put altar. it on the altar, yes. then, then he, he said, did something else. He told the people, mm -hmm. bring jars of water yes. and pour it on the sacrifice. Yes, and even before that, he, he dug a trench, like, round the yes, altar. Yes, he dug a trench. So he, he repaired the altar, put the wood and the sacrifice, and dug a trench round the altar. Mm -hmm. And then he called the people and he said, bring water. He ordered them to bring the water, to bring the precious commodity. Because now, remember, there's a drought. There was a drought. So getting water or even wasting water was... No, no, it was a no. Matter. So he said, bring water and pour it. And, and they poured water on the altar, on the sacrifice, on the wood, on and everything. everything. And when they were done, Elijah said, bring, bring more. more. So they, they poured more, more water, water on, on, the everything, on everything. everything. And when they were finally done, there the, was water dripping off the sides yes, of the altar and into it the trench. And it had filled the trench. Because you know a trench is a big hole that goes around something, a big long hole. Yes, and, it had and everyone filled, it was full of water from yes. the altar. So now everyone was just looking at themselves and thinking, Elijah would have an 
even more harder task than the the prophets of Baal. Yeah, because, because water it's impossible to get water fire and fire. Yes, they when there's a fire be. you take water to turn off the fire. Yeah. So they can't mix. Yes. So now Elijah had such a hard job. Mm-hmm. But once everything was soaked through yes. with water, he calmly went and he started praying and he said, mm-hmm. "God, you are the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob. Prove that you are still the God of Israel yes. by sending fire. Mm-hmm. And then immediately, immediately the burned. whole sacrifice and everything lit up. In and there fire. was a big burning fire yes. everywhere on the altar. Mm-hmm. So there was such a big fire, it burnt the sacrifice. It burnt up the sacrifice. It burnt, it burnt up, up the wood. It even burnt the, the stones. Stone. And it burnt everything. It burnt the trench. And everything. it scorched even the everything. ground that was around And remember, the that altar. place was already soaked in, in water, water, but, but it this burnt fire burnt everything. Everything, everything away. God's fire burnt every single thing, thing away. away. And then when the people saw that, they were they were shocked in the like, they were shocked and they were God is and they, the one true and they all God. fell down on their faces and they said, God, God is, is the, the one true God. God. We Glory will to only God. worship God. We will only worship God. God is yes. the one true God because Elijah had proven that God mm-hmm. is the one true God. Yes. Then Elijah said, get all of the prophets of Baal, get them, get them, catch them and kill, kill all of them. All the because that is the Baal. only way that the worship of Baal will, will go our way, will be Israel. stopped in Israel. Yes. So that is exactly what, what happened. happened. So the people turned back to mm-hmm. God because they saw that God is the one true God. Yes. Because he had answered. He had answered, he had and answered, and he answered his answered prayer. By fire. He answered yes. Elijah's prayer by fire. Now remember, Elijah had such a hard job because he had to light the sacrifice on fire and yet there was water everywhere. everywhere. On the wood, on the sacrifice, on the altar, around it, mm-hmm. everywhere. And yet the and the prayer was still answered and there yes. was still so much yes. fire. Yes, so by all means possible, it was only God who could have brought fire on that altar. So from these children, we learn that it does not matter whatever circumstances around us. Elijah, Elijah's altar and sacrifice was full of water and everything and it, it was, was impossible so hard. to get fire impossible. on that altar even if you took fire yes. and brought it onto that altar it, it would not, not light even because light. of all the water yes but remember we said that god is the one true god yes. and he's the only god who answers prayers so god was able to answer the prayer of elijah and he brought fire right at the at, 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 on the altar with everything around and the people were able to see that these had to be God. This is only God. So children, from this we learn that our God is the one true God. And he will always will answer, always answer our prayers, prayers. Because he is God. Yes, he's the one yes. true God. Yes, so anytime you pray, just like Elijah, be calm and know that God is going to answer. No matter what, God is going to answer your prayer. Mm-hmm. Yes, so now we're going to stand up and sing a song about fire how god is going to bring down the fire so let's all stand up and sing this song okay it's time to sing our song now we've just talked about how god sent down a lot of fire and how it consumed the sacrifice and the firewood and the altar and the water in the trench and the trench in the ground and everywhere so now we're gonna sing a song that's going to ask god to send down fire so everyone stand up and help us sing this song. God of Elijah, hear our cry, send the fire and make us fit to live or die. Send the fire today. God of Elijah, hear our cry, send the fire and make us fit to live or die.
Okay, kids, it's time for us to do our craft. Now, we've just talked about how when Elijah prayed for fire, fire came and it consumed everything. The sacrifice, the wood, the altar, around the altar, everywhere. And this is how it proved to the people that God is the one true God. Because yeah. when the prophets of Baal prayed and screamed and cried and cut there themselves no and told fire. them, there was no fire. Yeah. So now we're going to create this altar and the fire and we're going to put fire all around and it's going to be bright and this is going to remind us that God is the one true God and he is the one who answers prayers. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to write the scripture on the side of your paper. So we have here is we have a paper that we have the outline of an altar, then we have fire that we're going to stick on top, then we have crap paper that we're also going to add on top so it makes it look like brighter and bigger fire. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write down our memory verse. Mm -hmm. So I want you to write, when the people saw this, When the people saw it, they fell on their faces. Saying. The Lord, Lord, he is God. Lord, he is God. And this, we find it in 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 39. So this is the memory verse. And remember when we were telling the story, we said that when the people saw all of this fire, they said, this is God, the Lord is God. And they fell down on the faces and they started praising God. Mm -hmm. So now we get to color our fire and everything around it. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to stick down your fire so that that can start drying. So we're going to use our glue stick and we're going to stick down the fire. And the fire was on top of the altar. So when you stick down your fire, make sure it has space on top. So we're just going to stick it down. And this is going to show us um, where we need to place our altar. But because as we already have an outline of our altar, we're just going to stick it at the top. For you guys who don't have an outline, just stick it somewhere in the center of your paper. And then from the bottom, then we'll draw on our altar. So stick the fire. So for the fire, we just went and printed out a flame and then we cut it out. So once that is all stuck down every corner, we can leave that to dry and we can move on to showing you how to create your own altar. Mm -hmm. So first thing you need to do is let's start from the top of the fire and from there we're just going to draw sticks that are coming out from underneath the fire and this is going to represent the firewood because remember there was firewood. We're not going to draw a sacrifice because the fire has already consumed the sacrifice. So just take your pencil or your black color and draw sticks coming out. So a line down, carve it at the bottom and bring it up. And we're going to do this all the way. Many, many, many of them until we get to the other end. So just keep bringing out your pencil, drawing a stick and a stick and a stick. Okay, so after you're done pulling out your sticks and drawing them out, next thing you need to do is we need to draw our altar. So I want you to come on, at the edge of one stick and draw a straight line out, then at the edge of the other stick on the other side and draw a line out. Then we're going to make a staircase, sort of. So we're going to go from one side, we're going to go down a bit, then out, then down, and out, then down, until we create a staircase all the way to the bottom. To the bottom of our page out and down and out and down all the way till the end then same thing on the other side once you've created your staircase now we need to fill it in because the altar was built with many many rocks so start from the 
top and keep just drawing rocks and for our rocks we're just going to draw ovals everywhere so oval here when you're in a corner draw half an oval then an oval under the fire and keep filling in the ovals until you get a full until you fill in all the space that you've created with the stairs once you have filled in all your ovals we have our altar so for now it's time to color and because we have our altar and the altar is stones and rocks, it can be brown, it can be gray, it can be black, it can be whatever color you want. So I'm going to start with my black and then I'm going to keep on coloring everywhere. So just color everything, including the flame, whatever color you want. Okay, once you're done with your altar, move on and make it big and make it bright and make it bold so just use a lot of bright colors and just make it very 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 bright because it's fire and this was a big fire that came out and consumed everything in the altar and the wood everything and also remember they poured a lot of water on the altar and on the yes. sacrifice Okay, so after you have colored your flame and made them big and bright and everywhere, now we need to add on crepe paper to show how the fire went everywhere and all over. So just take crepe paper and a glue stick and put glue on the paper and then stick it everywhere around at random because remember the fire went everywhere it consumed the sacrifice it consumed the wood it consumed the altar and it scorched the ground so just put fire everywhere okay there we go now there's fire everywhere and it's big and it's consuming everything and you can keep adding crap paper everywhere you see you can keep adding colors and you yeah. can make keep making the fire bigger make and bigger and big. bigger yes. because it was a very big fire. fire yes so this is our craft for today and this has been our lesson for today and we will see you next, next time, time to find out what happens after god brought down this big fire and the people turn back to god mm -hmm. so that's it for today until next time bye, bye.